Alice McMurtry. Today we're going to be exploring Barnum House National Historic Site. Barnum House was built all the way back in 1819. Let's take a look inside. his wife Hannah Ewing, and their five children. Barnum was a well-connected member of the community of Grafton in Ontario. Today we're going to be exploring his house and learning a bit about ways of life in the 19th century. In fact, you might meet Barnum here in his study. The study was traditionally a male space for conversation amongst businessmen. You can imagine Barnum sitting here at this desk, perhaps entertaining and talking about business with a colleague. While Barnum would have met with his colleagues in his study, Mrs. Barnum, Hannah, would have entertained her friends here in the parlor. You'll notice that the Barnums don't have any modern forms of entertainment. There are no computers, televisions, or video games. What they do have is their piano and lots of music books. The Barnums would have entertained their guests here in the dining room with a nice meal. You might not expect it in the 1800s, but meals were actually quite an elaborate affair. There would be several different dishes served throughout the evening. It's probable that the Barnums actually had hired help who could assist with putting on a nice feast for their friends. The kitchen was the busiest room in the house. In the 1800s, there was no electricity, so all of the cooking would have to be done over a fire in the hearth. Washing clothes would need to be done in this room, as water would have to be heated up over the fire. Barnum would have shared a bed, but the beds looked a bit different in the 1800s. Let's take a look. So you can see we have a woven coverlet over top protecting a mattress that would have been filled with straw. The mattress would have had to be changed every three to four months. Instead of a box spring, we have ropes holding up the bed. These would have to be tightened periodically. You can imagine that the whole thing wouldn't have been very comfortable. the children's bedrooms here at Barnum House. In the 1800s, children didn't have many toys, but the ones they would have had would have been quite expensive. For example, you can see this rocking horse here who has a leather saddle and his mane and tail would have been made out of real horse hair. Books were also popular for children. For example, this book right here, Old Stories for Young Folks, is a collection of nursery rhymes. Thank you very much for taking the tour of Barnum House. On episode two, we'll explore Eliakim Barnum's connection to the community of Grafton. Stay tuned.